Hello, my name is Dominic. I'm a fantasy artist and illustrator, and I'm going to assume that you read the title and know why you're here. So let's get to it. All right, so a lot of this is going to be kind of basic if you already know what you're doing. So if you do know what you're doing, just go ahead and go straight to ArtStation, download the alphas, and uh, sculpt away. But the only thing I ask is that since I'm putting it out there for free as a beta test to gauge kind of the market for this kind of thing, uh, could you please just give me feedback either on our station or through an email or whatever to, so that I can improve the product and turn it into a real like high quality kind of package for sculptors, illustrators, and concept artists. Okay, so the way you use these textures here is, say you've got a sculpt going on um, and you want to add some, you've gotten to a point where you want to add some details. This particular sculpt is very high poly. You're, I'm at about 1.2 million faces, which isn't necessary to get the detail out of these brushes, but nevertheless, it will work. Usually, I'm around three to five hundred thousand when I'm adding these. Uh, so, the workflow I recommend is these aren't finishing touch details; these are details to add while you're still kind of blocking in and figuring out and concepting the creature or what what have you. So you want to add these before you've really gotten too deep into the details of the thing. Anyway, so to install these brushes, you come over here into the brush panel. So I usually just use the draw brush, uh, and then you click on the active tool workspace settings at the top there. And then if you click on this icon, all of your created brushes are in here. And so what I did was it created a new brush and the way you do that, I'll walk you through it now, is you create, click this button here, add brush. And then you give it a name so you know what it is later. I'll call it texture draw 2 because there's already one in there. Uh, I usually leave these where they are. Uh, you come down here, you change mapping to area plane. And what that's going to do is change the brush stroke to match the face of the model where you're putting it uh, and then change stroke method to anchored and it doesn't have to be this but I just find this the best way when you're adding a single kind of detail piece All right, so with those two settings change we're gonna hit new on the texture we're gonna come down here to the texture properties tab and then open to wherever you have them saved I have them here in brush alpha and finished and let's just say bolted mutant I don't know right, and you can see that the texture here is loaded into the brush so if we come over here and it draws from the center so you want you don't want to start in the corner and thinking it's gonna come across it's not gonna do that so draw from the center and then just drag it out and you got quick details and then you can just very easily come in here and change the brush size and say you want to just carve that out a little bit and I'm not doing a spectacular job here this is just a demonstration but you get the point um, so then you can just add on top of it you could even go super crazy and just make it like uh, some kind of just strange texture addition this this works because I've got a mirroring on along the x-axis if that was off it would just draw the single eyeball which still works you could uh, smooth it out and you've got some texture in there but that's not really what it's for it's for adding these here uh, and say we don't like that, we can jump all the way back to the start and you can do one of two things. You can either create a new brush here, you can create a new texture here, and that will keep the same settings for the texture draw brush, but will allow you to swap between, let's say, we're going to add a new one called lizard, we'll come back down here to texture, open, finished, and I happen to know I have a soft lizard in here. 
So I'm going to load that. So now what you can do is come back here to the brush settings. And you can click this and you can swap between the loaded textures. And this is per instance. So when you close this file and create a new one, these brushes aren't going to be, you have to reload them into the into the file. Uh, there, I'm sure there's a way to save it across instances, but I like to keep the files clean, so I just I reload what I need as I need it. <clears throat> um, so with the new one loaded, we can just drag him out, and we've got a different set of eyes. And you can do the same thing. You can come in here, you can smooth it out, you can get your freak on, draw some funky blobby textures on him, smooth it out, and then go on your merry way sculpting. So that's basically what the alphas do. It's kind of a height map for the sculpting brushes. So that should be all you need. Uh, if you guys want, I can create uh, another video showing you how I made these. Basically, it's captured from a sculpt that I did also in Blender. It's just a shader. So if you want to see that, just uh, add a comment under this video. Let me know, and I'll, I'll see if I can put that together for you. Otherwise, head over to ArtStation. The link is in the description. You can download these same textures that you saw here, plus four more uh, to mess around with. Hopefully, if the feedback I get is good and the, there's some market for this, I'll, I'll be building a much larger, better, more thoroughly tested uh, kit with all different kinds of textures for sculpting different genres of you know, creatures and characters and that kind of thing. So that's it. Take care. See you next time.